Welcome to Dungeon Painter Studio Tutorial. Today we're going to do subtraction. So we're going to do a dungeon, well, I should say a cave. So we can put his jacket on, stick to grid, is switched off, and then we'll just draw our cave. Now, what we'll do is we'll pick a different floor, I think, to start off with. And I quite like that one. So I'm just left clicking here around the map to create the effect that I want for the cave. As you can see, it's very quick. Then enter the complete. We will also at the same time put a dirt background on, which is quite simple. Enter again. And actually it's created a fictitious one, so we can remove that one. Oops. Let's put that back on again. Okay, and then you can drag that down to there. So we've now got a nice background, we've got a nice cave. If we don't quite like the cave, this is the time where we can tweak it and change it slightly. Yeah, if you want additional points, right click, duplicate point, and then you can drag the points around. Yeah, notice I've got to stick to grid, it still looks quite good. We can take that off and tweak it a bit further if you want. Make it a bit more special. Yeah. Eventually you end up with the effect that you like. There we go. And there we go. Okay for that. Next we want to add a wall. So we go to select the floor we want, right click, add wall. I know you can't see that little pop-up menu, trust me, it is there, and you get the wall added. Now that's not the wall that we want, so we're going to find the right wall. Make sure we've got wall selected, that's the one that we want. So we can select there, right click, build selected. And we end up with the wall. Next, we want to put a little lava pool in here. So we can go is jagged again. Then we're going to go search for lava. And search. Bring us up a nice selection. So I think this probably serves our for the map. So I am now going to make sure I stick to grid is off and I'm going to draw my lava pool. And enter and then we've got a lava pool doesn't look particularly or inspiring i know right so we've got the background to watch it's worthwhile spending the time looking at some of these here and rename them as appropriate if you're unsure you can always hide it and show it if you uh, double click that in go background if it's quite a large map it will pay dividends later on yeah another little trick is if you're doing multiple rooms create a layer for each room that's a real good tip okay so this is a cave wall and then we got lava pool makes it a lot easier for us to see what we're working with okay now we can add our normal effects so if we go to the cave wall floor uh, cave wall and then we can apply the shadow to there as you can see that looks quite nice the problem is with the lava pool is whatever we're going to do now we're going to have a look at the effects what we're going to do now is going to be a bit tricky because we want the um, on the inside but we want it on the edge here so it's almost like a long shadow. So there's two real ways of doing this. We can take the long shadow, we can edit that 
and when we edit we can then do the copy then if we close that down that's given us a second one so we can now do inside shadow and then we can make sure we've got the lava pool affected inside shadow and we can apply that you can go to edit and then you can now start trying to tweak some of these effects for instance angle you can tweak it round and that doesn't look too bad but it's not quite right because the effect is on the outside so we don't really want it like that because it, it looks more like it's raised but at the wrong angle so the other better way of doing um, uh, uh, cutouts in floors is if we um, go into here and then we clear the layer effect so we've now got our lava pool what I like to do uh, during the pools is if I do a selection here and select the lava pool and then select the clay cave floor so I set to the pool first then the floor so I want to take the lava pool away from the floor so the order I set it was B to minus A so because I stacked the lava pool first which will become A and the K floor which will be B so then do the selection and that's actually taken one away from the other you can see because it's just outlined the effect here and now if we hide that you now got a hole can you see that so we could delete this we didn't need to like we could use any color we wanted any texture floor so if we um, remove that and then we just go into polygon take his jacket off we can then just draw around here with a lava effect making sure everything is covered that we want press enter uh, rename this to be lava and now if we drag that down to below the cave floor you now get peeking through obviously the cave floor we can edit that and we can tweak that slightly if we want yeah to give us like obviously if we tweak it too far we'll go out of the bounds so we can tweak it you know, however you want there you go that'll do it quite nicely now what we can do with the cave floor we can go into effect and we don't need to do the inside shadow but if we just apply the normal shadow how does that look now obviously because we adjust the floor it's affected the uh, normal wall so what we'll do is we'll go out there and we can then remove the wall we can then add wall and then click up the floor back onto folder back down to here select the wall we wanted that one and we can go make sure we've set two walls now it's created two walls because it's created one on the inside as well on the outside so we can then right click and fill selected and then we can effects and then we can apply it obviously we don't want that one no not that one we don't want that one so we can just hide it for now you can see the effect it looks quite nice or we can remove it and voila there's a subtraction been done there with like a patch but on the reverse underneath just to show the lava and that looks quite effective thank you for watching hope that's fine hope you find that's useful